in a geometric progression the fifth term which is term number five is equal to four uh, 243 and the fourth term was equal to 81 the first question was that we find the first term and the common ratio so the information which is here just to interpret this so i believe we are going to understand this the information which is just here means that if we say t what t5 this is what it means is equal to what 243 like this obviously this one means that t4 is equal to what is equal to 81 this is what it means this is the information which is above here then i told you that we can use the first thing here is to find the common ratio it is very easy to find the common ratio and i told you that how do you find the common ratio if this is the geometric progression obviously let's just assume that this is a geometric progression like this this is a what this is a geometric progression so in this geometric progression we've got this is the first term this is the second term this is the third term this is the fourth term so the way we get to find the common ratio is that you say the term which is in front divided by the previous term have you seen so you can say t4 over t3 you cannot say t3 over t4 this is very wrong you cannot do that so this is what i was emphasizing so much you always start with the term which is in front like the proceeding term over the previous term so like if you check the definition of a geometric progression the geometric progression this is a progression in which the common ratio is found by getting the proceeding term divided by the previous term have you seen this term divided by that so even if you get this is t4 so if you say t4 over t3 which is equal to 80 it is t4 t3 is 4 you get the answer 2 have you seen so even if you say t2 over t1 is also equal to what 2 divided by 1 it is 2 have you seen so you always get the same word same answer this is how we get to find the common ratio have you seen so the common ratio is equal to what the common ratio is equal to so in this question that we were given how can we find the common ratio how can we work out the common ratio so that, that's a very simple quite simple so how can we work out the common ratio so common ratio will be equal to we are given the fifth term and the fourth term so which means that the common ratio is equal to what you are going to say t5 over t4 this is how you are going to find the common ratio have you seen this is how you, you get to find the common ratio so now this is now equal to what this is equal to what you say t5 t5 is 243 over over what over t4 81 so when you divide that what answer are you getting you are going to get three so your three there is the what is the common ratio so we found the common ratio this is how we get to find the common ratio have you seen so this is how you find the common ratio so the common ratio is what three have you seen the procedures i've done so make sure we are able to copy these things down we understand them pro properly so the common ratio is three so with this data which is given here we also have the common ratio which is what three i've just solved that one so now finding the first term you can use this one which is here or this other one which is there have you seen so you can use this one or you can use this other one have you seen this is what you need to do so what you are going to do now is this you are going to get the formula for the nth term do you know the formula for the nth term the answer is yes i told you so the formula for the nth term this is the formula which is equal to a r n minus one this is the formula for the what nth term have you seen here where it is saying t5 here there is tn which means that n is standing in for the value of five so where there is n you put five everywhere here where there is n you put what five because of that so me i'll go with this one so because of that t five 
So where there is n, I put 5. Have you seen? Where there is n, you put what? 5. A is the first term you want to find. What is your common ratio? Your common ratio is what? 3. So you say 3. You can do this. 3. Power what? n, which is 5 minus 1. You do that. So like, once you reach here, then you're done. Then what is your T5? You already have your T5. What is your T5? It is there. T5, it is there. So T5 is what? 243, which is equal to. So it is equal to what? Is, you say 5, 3 to the power what? Power 4. Have you seen? Then there is A there. So you can say, you can start with that one. There's no problem. I don't want to confuse anyone. 3 to the power what? 4. Have you seen? So 243 is equal to. Have you seen? This is equal to. 3 to the power 4, press on your calculator, you are going to find that it is what? 81. So 81 times A is just 81A. You divide both sides by what? 81. You also divide this side by 81. This one, this one cancelled. Finally, you get A as equal to what? If you divide here, you get a 3. So this is a 3. Have you seen? So the common ratio was 3 and the first term is what? Is 3. This is how you get to answer this question. Have you seen like this? So you can use any term. So I want you to be comfortable with this one. I don't want to go with that other one because you can be confused. You can also do the same thing when I when a question question come in an exam. Have you seen the way we've done? This is what you are supposed to do. So this was a, not nine. A. Have you seen? So this is how we get to work out that one. This is how you need to answer that. Don't forget. On Friday, we are having our mock exam. So, for those that joined this entry, everyone should participate. So, this will be a pre prediction of what you are going to get in your exams. So, on Friday, prepare a pa four graph papers if you know that you are going to make a mistake so that you don't run out of stock. You prepare four graph papers, print papers, because it will be a full paper. Then I told you the time that we are going to start. So let's, let's, let's just make sure that everything uh, are in place. Have you seen? We we'll start at 21.30 to 24 hours. So take this one serious. Don't say this is just, uh, uh, this is just uh, a, a test. I cannot be serious. No. Take this one serious. On Friday, 21.30 exactly, we start for 2 hours 30 minutes. You are going to write this paper. So for those of you that are getting permission, make sure you get permission because I will not give extra time like telling people to submit after time. If the time has passed, even if you've submitted, I won't consider your work. So I will take this one serious. So if you, you've been submitting it, all the tests that I've been giving, make sure this one you participate X 21.30 to 24 hours, we answer the week. Then I'll give you 10 minutes to capture the week that you've answered. In other words, the, uh, uh, at 24.10, everything should be in my inbox. You've submitted your week. So this Friday, full paper, we are concluding paper 2. We are concluding what? Paper 2. So make sure that everything is in place. You've bought calculators. Everything that we've covered, I want to see, I want to have also a prediction of how many people I'm going to trust that this, I'm depending on these people to get distinction. My aim is to make sure that at least from here, if we, that people can get distinctions, it is well and fine. So this is my aim. I want to make sure that it, we all pass. The least should get uh, a four, a merit four. Then it is okay with me. But at least state people to get distinctions. So let's make sure that we get an understanding from this. So this is how we get to answer the week. So obviously you answer this one. Then you move to the other one. You move to the other one. So with this data which is there, we've also included the what? The first term, which is what? Which is three. So this is the data which is given here. So the second question was find the seventh term. How can you find the seventh term? Have you seen? How can you find the what? The seventh term. So you know, okay, the formula we are going to use is this one. Tn is equal to 
this is the formula for the any theme. Have you seen? This is the formula for the any theme. So you are taught to find the what? Common ratio will maintain. First term will maintain. Then any will be equal to what? Seven. Because you want to find the what? The seventh term. So I want you to understand this. You want to find the seventh term. So where there is R, you put three. Where there is A, you put three. Where there is N, you put seven. So once you're able to substitute this in this, then everything is what? Everything is simple. So I want you to get this, and I want you to understand this one. T, N, seven, which is equal to, what is your first term? Three. What is your common ratio? Is easy, three. So three to the power seven minus what? One, like this. This is it what you are going to get have you seen so t7 is equal to 3 open bracket 3 to the power t 6 have you seen so complete this one on your calculator you find the answer there have you seen so i want us to revise through these things i want us to so you press on your calculator 3 open bracket 3 cross to the power 6 then you write the answer you say this is your answer the answer that you're going to find here have you seen so that's your answer that's how we needed to go about that one have you seen so let's make sure we so i want you to participate in this participate in this find the answer three open bracket three cross power six then you write the answer here you put the answer then you underline like that that's how you needed to work out that one we move to the other one so this this data won't be loved because it is the data that is going to help us it is really going to help us let's find the sum of the what first five terms the sum of the so in a geometric progression what is important is the what is the common ratio and the first term these are the only two things which are important so with the once you have the common ratio and the first term you'll be able to find the uh, you'll be able to find uh, anything. You'll be able to find the sum of the terms, the any term, sum to infinity, anything you can find once these two are provided. So the bad part about this question is that once you get that one wrong, then everything becomes wrong because you'll be using a wrong word, common ratio, and a wrong word, first term. So these are the procedures you need to consider. These are things that you need to know and understand. So sum of the five first five terms, you write the formula. Okay, sum, the common ratio is what? The common ratio is greater than what? Common ratio is greater than three, greater than one. So if the common ratio is greater than one, have you seen? Common ratio is what? Greater than one. The common ratio is greater than one. The formula we are going to use is this one. See? Over R minus 1. Why are we doing this? We want to avoid the negative answer. Then you just substitute. N is what? N, first five terms. N is 5. So 5 is equal to what is your first term? 3. Open bracket. Common ratio? 3. Power? 5. Minus 1. You do this. Over. Over what? 3 common ratio minus 1, like this. So, first 5 terms is equal to 3. You do this. This is what you are going to do. So, what is the answer when you say, on your calculate, 3 to the power 5 minus 1, what answer are you going to get? You are going to get what? You are going to get 2, 40 what? 42. Over what? Over 2. Have you seen? Over 2. Which is equal to. So, even here, I won't find the answer for you. I want you to participate in this. So if you got this wrong, I want you to participate in this. So three times that one, three times that one. Have you seen three times that one? You know that de definitely you're going to get six there. This one will give you 12. Two remainder one. Six plus one, seven. Have you seen seven times six over two? But for you, you are supposed to use the calculator. So divide D. When you divide D, what answer are you going to get? I want to give you the answer. Find the answer for yourself. So what answer are you going to get there? The answer you are going to get there, that's the, the sum of the first what? Five terms. This is how we needed to go about this one. 
So the mistake that you get to find this one, power that, minus one. Then you find the answer. Have you seen? This is what you need to do. But don't, like you want to multiply everything there on a calculator. You can get a wrong answer. Don't go with it that way. Just find a good way that you are supposed to get. The same way you expand what is in the bracket, then you multiply it with what is outside, then you divide it with this. Don't everything at once here. You can get a wrong answer. Okay, so we proceed. We go to sum of the word, sum of infinity. It was saying sum to infinity. How can you find sum to infinity? Sum to infinity, this is the formula, which is A over 1 minus R. This is the formula to sum to infinity, which is equal to, what is your first step? 3. Over, what is your 1 minus common ratio? 3. Which is equal to 3 over negative 2. Have you seen? Then what is your answer? Negative 1.5, like this. Have you seen? Then you are done. This is what you are supposed to do. Then we go to our last question. So I want us to have a full understanding on this. We move to the last question. Find the geometric mean. How can you find the geometric mean? So geometric mean is equal to, I told you that just put these numbers you are given in a square root. You are given 243 multiplied by, you want to multiply it with what? 2187. Uh, like this. Which is equal to, have you seen? So, when you multiply this, when you multiply this, when you multiply, you multiply, you put a square root. The answer that you must get is to be 7, 29. This is what geometric mean. Have you seen? This is how you need to find the what the geometric mean. So, I want you to understand this to get the necessary concept. Then I said that 